So here's whack-a-mole number 89. The last whack of 220 of 2020. A whack, a, a whacked out year, uh, definitely. So those of you who are new, 89, come on, how, how new can you be? But you know, there's new people that come along and please subscribe, watch the videos, make comments if you like. Whack-a-mole is when I grab random five random records from my collection and i i rap um, like i talk about them i showcase them maybe tell you a story maybe tell us something you don't know maybe make up something that i don't even know yet so um this is the holiday christmas edition at the end of 2020 so five five random picks One, two, three, <laughs> four, I don't know what I'm doing, and, and five. Did you see it? Did you look? You peeking? You might be peeking before I'm peeking. I'm not peeking. Well, <laughs> maybe I am peeking. Five. So, <laughs> The Monkey's Greatest Hits. Hey, hey, we're the Monkeys. Started in 1966. Prefab 4, actually, uh, actors and musicians cast. T Steve Stills was almost cast as a monkey, but he wasn't, but he was a friend of Peter Tork. Uh, and of course, Steve Stills was at uh, Buffalo Springfield uh, at that time or it's starting Buffalo Springfield. So he lucked out, didn't he? Um, but the monkeys are great. My generation, 1966, Monday nights, NBC TV. What can I say? Some great songwriters. I mean, everybody from Carole King and uh, Neil Diamond, Bobby Boyce and Tommy Hart, Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart, Hart and Boyce, Boyce and Hart. All these great songs. Last Train to Clarksville, I'm a Believer, uh, a little bit me, a little bit you, shades of gray. I want to be free. Mary, Mary, where are you going to? This is a later, this is a Friday music reissue that came out about 15 years ago, I think. 2011, which would be nine years ago, not 15 years. Okay. Well, here's an interesting one. My buddies made me buy this one. Um, Petra Hayden. Petra Hayden covering the entire album of The Who Sell Out acapella she sings everything she sings all the parts acapella patriot patra hayden the hayden triplets three sisters the son of charlie hayden uh, the jazz bass player petra i think it's petra one of the haydens but i think it's petra is married to jack black but you didn't know that somebody knew it but i'm telling you here so this is kind of a fun record petra hayden sings the who sell out Fun record. Acapella, acapella. Vanguard Records, Ram and Jack Elliott, folk singer from the Greenwich Village scene, friend of Bob Dylan, friend of all the folk singers from McDougal Street and Greenwich Village in New York City in the early 60s. Um, this is himself on guitar and mouth harp which is i assume is harmonica uh diamond joe was song by, uh dylan did cover years later on that will circle being broken 1913 massacre of course the grand uh house of the rising sun that eric Brittany animals made famous uh brought it to a whole new uh audience black snake moan with will lee on bass now black snake moan there's a cool movie black snake moan uh with um what's his name uh come on you know the uh i'm gonna stay here for five minutes thinking of uh the african-american's name uh samuel j samuel jackson samuel jackson and black state moen with christiana ricci kind of a guilty pleasure a f cool film that actually turns out better than you'd think if you've seen the poster of a of a young voluptuous 
Southern Christiana Ritchie chained up <laughs> in the living room of Samuel J Samuel uh, Jackson. So there you go. Just, and it ends up with a song called More Pretty Girls. Vanguard Record, who produced this? Um, this is a mono version. This is a reissue mono version, but um, I don't remember who produced this. But the, oh, the notes, the liner notes are Shel Silverstein, the great songwriter and poet and children's book author who wrote um, on the cover of the Rolling Stone and wrote A Boy Named Sue. So that's the little trivia, Ram Ramblin' Jack Elliott. This might be his first album, actually. Jack Elliott. Was this before he was rambling? Maybe he was just standing still here, not rambling. Okay. Sonic Nation by Sonic Youth. Love this record. Um, this is a record, the co art, cover art. Let's see, photographs. Cover painting is a Gerhard Richter. Uh, Ger Gerhard Richter is a, a famous uh, German artist. I saw a great show at the MoMA in New York about 12, 13 years ago. Great stuff. So I did a video earlier on here last year at some point on modern artists, um, fine art artists who have work, uh, their work is on um, album covers. And of course, this was one I showcased. Sonic Youth, you know, Thurston Moore, and um, Kim Gordon, Lee Ronaldo, and, and Steve Shelley. Noise, rock, with a little psychedelic twinge to it. Um, love them. Saw them twice, once on their own, and once, ironically, opening up. They went on tour with Neil Young, because Neil Young loved them, and, and Crazy Horse, some of the Cow Palace. And they opened up and half the people kind of walked out and stood out in the drinking areas and the other areas just didn't. The, the, Neil Young's, part of Neil Young's, half of Neil Young's audio, audience uh, didn't get what uh, Sonic Youth were doing. So, and lastly, the last whack of 2020, thank goodness, is ABC Records and a copy that I got in 1969 Produced by Tom Wilson, worked with Dylan, Leonard Cohen, a lot of a great artists. Um, Fraternity of Man. Now, if you don't know Fraternity of Man by name, you know uh, at least one song of theirs. If you've seen Easy Rider, don't bogart that joint, my friend. Pass it over to me. This is a really good record, too. There's a song on here called Last Call for Alcohol. Uh, it's got a little country twinge, rock and country kind of what the band were doing in a way in 1969. Um, oh my God. Um, Art Direction by Robert Beetle Bob Mar Marshall. Michael. So there's a Beetle connection. It's kind of a slim one. Um, now what is the connection here? I'm just trying to think. Um, the guys from this band, did they play in Little Feet maybe? Or they played... See, now I'm forgetting, and I should know this for a whack-a-mole, because I would impress you if I knew this off the top, and I usually do. Uh, not, it might be Little Feet and Zappa and that whole kind of genre. There, uh, there's This band kind of formed and morphed. Um, it wasn't Tom Rapperls before Swine. I'm forgetting. Someone's going to write it in the uh, comments here. Please do, because I forgot and I failed you here, but... Um, Really good record. It's, again, Plastic Rat, Last Call for Alcohol, Wispy Paisley Skies. So it's folk, country, psychedelic in a way. Fraternity of Man, ABC Records, and it's got the um, Maslow stamp of approval probably written in 1969 or 1970. And um, there you go. So I want to thank you all for um, indulging me here on these whack-a-moles and all my other videos. Uh, there's a lot of different content here. You can search it, the joint videos, uh, the four corner videos, uh, the um, Dick and Norm movie reviews with Vinyl Ritchie. Just a lot of stuff, depending on your taste. And the features, I've done features on the Kinks and Joni Mitchell and Ry Cooter, Ry Cooter soundtracks as well. So just tool around here. Some stuff, is not, not everything here is for everybody. So 
enjoy it and I really um, thank you for supporting me, uh, my channel in the last two years and uh, Mazzy really loves you.